boats. Do you like boats? Cause I like boats. There's a load of boats up a Kroninger. We're gonna go with the flow. Get a load of the boat to the side of the road for Kroninger. Do you like boats? Cause I like boats. Oh, totes my goats. I love boats. Boats. We're gonna go with the boats like the flow to the side of the road up in Kroninger. For many, it's the sound you make when you wake up on the kitchen floor drunk and sputtering after an all night coke binge. <laughs> But for 200,000 people in Europe's northern swamp district, Kroninger is home. Shite guides a shite show for shite, shite times With a wise guy who writes shite rhymes shite while being white, white With the borders locked down, trying to break out the house, house. We're gonna bounce to the towns, towns that you can't pronounce Kroninger is uh, the Netherlands' most northern metropolis And uh, it's got lots of things to see, like this This And This Behold, number 19 on TripAdvisor for Kroninger. A public toilet you don't have to pay for. Listen, I'm not saying that my guides are nice or they contain sage wisdom or sound advice and they won't light up your life and they won't make you wiser at least they're better than the shit they stick on TripAdvisor. Oh no. Okay. Fair enough, that was pretty shitty. At least it's all uphill from here, huh? It's really not a great time to be traveling. We're all up shit creek and no one is paddling. The big man in Babylon is laughing in his castle while the fabric of society is quickly unraveling. Due to the uh, marsh-like conditions, you're never more than 20 feet away from a rat in the Netherlands. Ooh. And in Groningen, because of its obscenely big student population, 60,000, you're actually never more than 20 feet away from a wank. Oh. Damn. This absolute madness on display here is a, a medieval tradition designed to ward off evil spirits, bad luck and just dodgy voodoo in general. I don't know about that, but I do know that it happens to look exactly like my cum face. Snuggled away in a blanket of perpetual fog up in the northern reaches of the Netherlands, Kroninger is like that cousin you've been meaning to visit for years, but he lives just that bit too far away and he's probably not worth the journey to be honest. But then you know, you end up visiting him, you have a few drinks, few smokes, and you're like, do you know what, this fella's actually alright. Then you have a few more drinks and he shows you around and you're like, actually no, this fella's a fucking weirdo. Man of Steel simultaneously blows two flutes from behind. It wouldn't uh, be my usual choice of porn. Well, would you look at that. Dominating the skyline in Groningen is the, uh, the Martini Tower. And uh, it stands at a, a perfectly adequate 97 meters high. And it's got uh, 260 steps, which is the exact number of steps I am not willing to climb. So we just have a peep from here. Lovely, eh? Lovely, 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 pretty lovely. It's actually got a bit of a, a tilt on it. It's got a tilt of 0.6 meters. And uh, I got a bad hangover, man. I'm, I'm tilting myself. Tilting. Uh, the locals apparently know it as uh, the old grey one which is um, incidentally the same name as the single solitary white pube I have growing on the left hand side of my ball sack. We've lots in common, lots in common. There's actually been a tower uh, situated on this spot here since the 13th century. And uh, this is actually the third tower to be built. The, uh, the previous two were both destroyed by lightning strikes, which is a bit, of a bit of a biblical dose. And this tower here, after they rebuilt it, they actually destroyed it again when the Spanish and Walloon troops were leaving in 1577 after some, uh, some kind of occupation. The locals, having a bit of a, a celebration, had some celebratory fires up on the third balcony celebratory fires they set the fucking thing on fire again and uh, it collapsed they keep rebuilding it i don't have a fucking notion of going up there tree collapses already nah mate so we've established at this stage that the martini tower while lovely to look at is historically a fucking death trap and it is not worth the risk to your life 
to further press the point, it very nearly got destroyed a fourth time back in the spicy summer of 1945 when those scandalous asshats, the Nazis, were in town, acting like bastards. They set up a radio tower on top of it so they could listen into the German techno being broadcast from deep within the Reich, and they threatened to blow it up when the Canadians rocked through and kicked them the fuck out of Groningen. This super sad looking guy over here is uh, Sint Joris and the Drac, which is uh, Saint Joris and the Dragon. He uh, looks like a pretty moody, depressed, melancholic dude standing over a vanquished dragon. And that dragon looks uh, pretty depressed as well. Talk to your doctor, people. Talk to your doctor if you're feeling low. Hey, comrade, I want you to stop being sad. Even though I know that technically it's not your choice Because you're dealing with a temporary chemical imbalance in your engine And that's okay, here's the score You don't have to chase those dragons anymore You don't have to light a candle, everybody's fighting a battle Life is a gamble, so it's high time that you got back on the saddle And just cycle Hop on your bike and fucking cycle Release your dopamine cycle Get those delicious endorphins created when you hop up on a bicycle Like all Dutch cities, it's a cyclist paradise Over half of all journeys in Groningen are made by bicycle So you can just kind of float around happily without ever using a big dirty engine Alright, kind of, kind of killing the vibe there Oh, let's look at that again One inescapable downfall of life on a bicycle is remembering where you parked the feckin' thing. Can anyone see an old rusty black one? It's not exactly ideal at four o'clock in the morning when you've got ten pints and two dirty kebabs inside you. Situated at a dizzying elevation of seven meters above sea level, Dutch people have been coming to Kroninger from the surrounding swamp areas to dry their socks since the third century. She's keeping her socks dry right now. Fair play, chicka. I'm saying it now when I've said it before. The producer of my music is better than yours. If you like what you've heard and you want to hear more, there's a beat tape available, you know the score. Download the world's shittest beat tape. Download the world's shittest beat tape. Download the world's motherfucking shit this beat tape volume one and then cycle But the world's shit is beat tape cycle The world's shit is beat tape cycle around with those nice nice sounds And the world's shit is beat tape is coming to town La 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 la